Well, here's a Dell Espron um, 53, uh, 530S, okay? Uh, one thing, when you drop this off with a repair technician, take all your USB mouse sticks, uh, pickups off, because uh, if that disappears, you know, it's not the technician's fault. It's your fault. So uh, here's the main uh, problem. Okay, I hit the phone number of this, but uh, here you can read it. Uh, it says, Bill, when you turn on the computer, the fans, uh, the fans runs all the time, but nothing comes up on the screen. And you get a his name and phone number. So uh, here's the first thing I do, all right? I take, a, I, I take the, um, in my business, I take the screws out and slide off the side. No matter how clean it looks on the outside, I go ahead and uh, clean all the dust. My compressor's down there, charged up, and it's ready to go. I put the screws there and I take the side off. And uh, it should come off pretty neatly. It looks kind of clean. I'm still going to blow the things out. I'm going to look at capacitors and take a closer. I'm going to take that center. I think I did a video on this before because I remember that plate right there. So, uh, so uh, I think I did a video on this computer one time before. Nevertheless, you're going to see uh, just what I do when uh, somebody brings a computer to me and uh, see how I troubleshoot and uh, fix it. Or if I can't fix it, of course, I'm not going to charge them at all. So let me go ahead and uh, clean this up and then we'll take it inside. Okay, I did do uh, something like this before. Anyway, uh, you lift it back up and you lift this up. Grab the plate inside. You gotta make sure the harness is taken out from that. Remember, put that back on. I'm gonna go take a look inside. All right, at capacitors. Any pop capacitors. Anything that looks like the old Jiffy Pop popcorn puffed up. Any black chips that look like they're burnt. And there's some uh, some back here behind the fan on the motherboard. And I don't see anything there. So what I'm going to do is uh, take it inside. I'm going to reseat the memory chips. I'm going to pull out cards. Make sure the card is not stopping it from coming up. And then uh, if it doesn't still doesn't come up, I'm going to give the customer a call and say, Hey, uh, what's important to you? Because as chances are the motherboard is going to be more expensive than the computer itself. In some cases, that is actually true. That's one of those uh, unique power supplies. I actually have a couple of those from other computers that were given to me. So, uh, okay, take it in and uh, reseat some cards. I want to boot it up first, make sure it's indeed doing what he says, or if it's his monitor. All right, so uh, here we go. Well, one thing that's really cool is when I reset those memory chips down there, I pulled them out, put them back in, and look at this. It's up and running. Of course, he has uh, some stuff that that right there is uh, a hoax thing. At uh, 7 24/7 helps that. So, in, that, in any case, it now boots up. I did test it when I brought it in at first and turned it on, and nothing came up over on the screen. I'm just resetting the memory chip. So, that actually uh, satisfies uh, the video as far as getting it up and running. So, there's a pretty good chance that if your computer uh, just the fans come on, to open it up and just reset some cards and reset things. Be safe about it. Have the power unplugged, and uh, then. Hey, uh, everything will work good. So, time to call the customer up and say, Hey, uh, you want me to fix some stuff here? He has uh, uh, some warnings down at the bottom. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of stuff on the lower right-hand side down there. Um, right, right down in that area. It's, uh, it's a lot of stuff there. So, so uh, time to give him a call and see if he wants some software help, too. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. And uh, share with a friend. Bye.